going in to the project. I did know about it becoming a problem for the value of the real estate to have a homeless shelter in an area that's getting built up so quickly. There is a lot of tension between the community who doesn't want that problem in their backyard and the shelter that's trying to serve their clients. I don't think that there's much empathy for homelessness just in general, and Charlotte is no exception. Some people perceive our guests as slacking off or being irresponsible. I feel like if they were a part of the shelter, they would see that the majority of our guests are working really hard. They just don't have good options. Like that's the sort of misperception that I would want to correct. There's this attitude that people who are experiencing homelessness don't deserve comfort. And I think that by extension, that attitude that social workers also don't deserve comfort. As an artist, I was wanting to really shine a light on the social worker and on the staff. They're the people who are getting confronted with these urgent, sometimes dangerous situations. On top of the difficulty of work, there's also that isolation of not being able to translate that experience to other people who are not in that profession. There is a big tension right now with the men's shelter renovation. They were getting a lot of pressure from the community to move from the center of the city. The men's shelter pushed back and ended up fundraising to renovate their location on North Triant. But homelessness doesn't end for our building project. We shelter 400 men a night almost. We have to find other places in the city where they can stay, and so it's just introducing a lot of stress into the work culture. Part of my project is getting to know the staff. That helps me design these workshops in a way that's relevant for what they're going through. I'm really looking for an internal transformation of perspectives. I see acting as a way of fully empathizing and inhabiting another person's experience. Actors need to be very aware of where they're holding tension in their bodies. I'm interested in translating that process to social workers because I feel like those skills are very similar. Jody had us recreate a stressful work scenario with all of these theatrical tools. It definitely like enabled people to access a vulnerable space surrounded by coworkers. A lot of these exercises feel really simple, but just sitting in a room quietly breathing can have emotional impact. Those spacious moments can help metabolize what's just happened and reconnect you with the meaning of what you're doing. I mean, it's not perfect, but I do perceive it as like a super healthy work environment. Admitting that there's just sort of a huge quantity of stress sort of in the system because of you know who we serve and the sort of amount of needs they have. The photos that I'm taking are a way of noticing details. I'm really interested in the way staff communicate with each other through whiteboards, their use of post-it notes, chalkboards, personalized details that make a transitory space feel homey. I thought it could be interesting to bring those photos into this workshop space and for staff to see their own organization through somebody else's eyes. She was good with interacting with all the different kinds of people at the shelter and I don't even know if most of us would have the sort of concept of art that she falls underneath. I just feel like she was a familiar like supportive presence at the shelter. This type of a project it works best when it's able to be sustained. It was such a big moment when the men's shelter decided to adopt and integrate the workshop program. I feel like the tale of two cities kind of introduced us and now we're forming our own way of working together in the future.